First up, add all of your room temperature butter. Then, add all of your yeast flakes. Now in here I have garlic powder, yeast flakes, onion powder, and smoky paprika. Then our flour, and last but not least, the vegan cheese. Then we mix it together. You may have to finish it by hand. We want the consistency of a nice dry dough. Now we need to take our mixture and shape them into small logs so we can start making the witch's fingers. Once we've made the right size shape we're after, we put it into the tray. We add our witch's fingernail and the creases to make the knuckles. Now we place them in the oven at 180 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Now we're going to prepare our vegetables for the cauldron cob loaf filling. I have here asparagus and spinach. That's how I'm going to make it green so it looks a bit more like a cauldron. First off, we just cut it up into smaller pieces just like that and into hot water. All we need to do now is give it a stir and wait for it to come back to the boil. While that's coming up to the boil, we're going to make our cashew cream. Now cashew cream is simple. All you need to do is soak cashews in water for an hour, anywhere up to 24 hours, uh, and then throw them in the food processor and blitz them up. Now we've made our cashew cream. We set it aside with the rest of our ingredients ready to make the sauce while we take the vegetables off the stove. Now we just add the greens to the food processor, blitz them up to get them ready for our cauldron cob sauce. If you find your greens aren't blitzing properly, just add a small amount of water. This will help loosen them up so they become smoother. Now we have our beautiful green vegetables to color our cob loaf filling. We can now put the cob loaf filling together. Now it's been about 15 minutes, our witch's fingers should be done. Let's take a look. Perfect. Now our witch's fingers are done, we just set them aside and now we can get to making the cob filling. First off, we start by making a roux. To make a roux, we add our nut legs and we melt it down. Once the nut legs is melted down and starts to crackle, we add our flour. Now we need to cook it off just a little bit. Okay, now we've cooked it off a little bit, you can start to see little white bits like this. This is our roux cooking and becoming a blonde roux. At this point, we can slowly start to add our cashew cream. Now, you may need to change to a whisk for the last part and add a little bit of water depending on how thick your cashew cream is. Now we've got it mixed together and it's hot. We want to add our yeast flakes, our cheese and our flavour. Just want to slowly mix that through. Cheese. We just want to leave a little bit of the cheese so we can put it on top of the cob loaf. Here's where we add our blitz of vegetables so we can get our beautiful cauldron cover. Now that all of our ingredients are in, it's ready to go in the cob. Now I've cut the cob and taken out the insides. We just need to spoon the filling in. Once it's all in, we cover in a bit more of our vegan cheese take it to the oven. Now our cob loaf is nice and toasted, we can take it out of the oven and put it on our plate. Awesome.